<laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Joe. I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. This is Cassie. She came in uh, to help us with this video. This video is all about milk frothing. She is a barista, which I am not. I've many of times failed at latte art. Hopefully, hopefully, she won't fail at latte art. <laughs> Pressure's on. But uh, yeah, so the big thing here is these milks. So, you know, lactose free milk kind of became really popular. The main reason why is 60% of people they've found have some amount of lactose intolerance. So, all these milks here are lactose free. Uh, we have almond milk, we have oat milk, lactose free organic 2% uh, milk, and then we have a little curveball here. We have canned coconut milk. So, the main reasons why. Um, milk froths and turns into lattes in the first place is the presence of both proteins, their structures, and fat. So the reason, um, you know, if you take, take uh, eggs, for example, if you whip up the egg whites, it will turn into a meringue. So the meringue structure is very airy and it kind of is like very fluffy. Whereas you take something like coconut milk or heavy cream, you whip that up and it's just, you know, very tight. You don't really see bubbles. It's, you know, it's cream. It's like whipped cream. So these are all different um, in their structures. This has 2% protein. This is kind of funny. It works well, but it has 0% protein. I don't know how it works, but we'll figure it out. Uh, this, you know, milk, standard milk has a nice structure of both proteins, fats, and depends on your percentage but um, even 0% milk froster as well. The reason, like I was saying, protein structure. So um, if it's 0% fat, it's gonna be more dry. So a lot of times you'll go to a cafe and they'll be like, do you want your you know, froth milk dry or do you want it wet? Well, dry milk is when you steam it really high, more like a meringue for a cappuccino. And then another curveball, like I was saying, uh, is the canned coconut milk. This is just you know fat, very heavy on the fat. And um, we're gonna see how this frosts as well. Okay, so we're now at the espresso machine. We're gonna start with almond milk, um, but Cassie, I wanna know what you think yes. is gonna be the best. I think personally that the 2% milk is gonna win it. Okay. Maybe, maybe oat milk close second, but definitely 2%. So if I'm using the science that I was just talking about, I think structurally speaking, Almond milk is the closest because it has two two grams of protein and it has a decent amount of fat at five, uh, roughly five grams of fat. So, and they add, I think, gelatin in here to like kind of for the barista milks. Right. So we'll see what happens. But um, as a heads up, I'm not gonna weigh. I know a lot of people like get weird when I don't weigh out the espresso grams and everything. We're not gonna do that because right now it really doesn't matter. The thing that's gonna matter is just the latte-ness right. of it. How good is a latte? So let's get started. Let's do it. No. All right, so we're gonna go off mouthfeel. Obviously, latte art ability, uh, which I think is probably the most important for a lot of people. Right. Uh, looks are everything. And <laughs> anyways, and then obviously flavor. Mm -hmm. So um, let's get started. I guess we'll go down the list. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna go bari with the uh, barista almond milk here. You wanna sip first? I'll let you sip yeah. first. All right. All right, so as I'm going through this, I'd like to hear your thoughts on like each, and like maybe a tips and tricks on like each type of milk. Right. So, so I would say that as far as almond milk goes, you're going to want to froth it less than usual because it's kind of got like a, how do you word that? It's a little more liquidy than the others as far as like. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's like not as fatty. And not exactly, as, like, it's not as fatty. Not as so, viscous. So um, the more you froth it, the more it's just kind of, kind of fall apart. Yeah. It's not going to hold its composure. So yeah, I'm interested to hear what. Well, yeah. Man, oh, you want me to score first? You want to score first? You can score first. All right, I'll go first. Yeah. yeah. So first up, almond milk has this uh, tannic nature to it, especially when you heat it. So this milk tastes really sweet and lovely, like when it's not heated. But, but when you it have, is. Yeah. <laughs> when it is heated, it, it has a tendency to get like a lot of tannins in it. So mm -hmm. it's kind of bitter. Definitely foamy for sure. Yeah, and it gets foamy. Very it's my, foamy. probably better for. It's like airy foam. Yeah, it's probably better for like a cappuccino. Right. But as far as lattes are concerned, and honestly, milk in general, I, I think I would give this like my least favorite. So like mm -hmm. a four, four to five out of 10. Doesn't um, pour very well. No. It seemed like one of the worst out of the latte mm -hmm. arts. And um, taste, I. I would say not great. Wouldn't order that again, you know? Yeah, I don't like, I don't really like it. Uh, so I'm gonna also give that like a, a four. I'll give it a three for okay. my, myself and then latte irritability, like maybe a five or six. So, yeah. so we'll say- Six is generous. We'll say the whole thing. It seems like four is the four. score. We're gonna go four, four. four out of 10. Four out of 10. All right. 40% almond milk. All right, here is, and these have been sitting for a while, so I'm sorry they don't look quite as beautiful as they did, but it's all right. I'll let you go. This is the Barista Milk uh, series uh, oat milk. Now, I think it's funny that for this one, they add, to get that fat content in there that I was talking about earlier, they add in sunflower oil. A, a lot of these barista milks, they add stuff to it to, to make it easier to froth. Definitely a lot smoother. Tastes a lot better. It's not so bitter. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's almost like chocolatey. Yeah. It's probably from weirdly the, chocolatey. Yeah, it's probably from like the. I assume it's from the coffee, but right. yeah, this is uh, Works this is. Well with it. Yeah, it's been sitting a little while, so it's starting to like get, get larger, bubbly. larger bubbles, but it definitely had a lot of the art ability. As far as steaming it went, it was definitely a lot smoother. You don't have to be as careful as almond milk as far as um, like over, over or under frothing it. Yeah. yeah. Mm, it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> I took two sips too. It was pretty good. Yeah. Um, definitely better than almond milk. Yeah. Taste-wise, I think this is... I'm, it's hard because we haven't gone through all these, but right now I'm going to say this nine. This top contender. Yeah, like nine out of ten. Oh, this, this is my... Nine. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what I'll let you give the latte. Latte order. Order, I would give it honestly like a seven. Okay. Seven. Seven and a half. All right. Seven point five. Seven point like five. And then mouthfeel wise, it's pretty good. It's not pretty smooth. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Obviously, it's been sitting a while, so right. you gotta kinda, discount that out of there. Yeah, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, like a, I'd say it's like an eight out of ten. So over overall, I'd say eight out of ten. It's very good. Seven and a half. Seven point five. Eight out of ten. Okay. All right, so there we go. We'll give it our rounds about that score. <laughs> Probably the big dog here is lactose-free milk. They don't really care. What's funny is they don't carry this a lot. Really? In, I don't see it in a lot of like actual cafes and stuff. Mm -mm. Did you Just work with regular it? Regular skim milk. Usually. Yeah, they always go to one of these. A lot of times for the for the lactose-free folks, but never just lactose-free milk. I mean, this one's the most gorgeous. Somehow, it's even gotten sort of prettier. A little bit. But yeah, go ahead. Nice and... That's the stuff. Yeah. That, that's Super the... smooth. 
super smooth. So what's the, have you noticed a difference between doing the lactose free milk versus, I'm sure you've done plenty of normal milk before, so. Yeah, so usually anything that is most closely related to milk froths the best. Um, as far as when you get into like nut milks, they just separate and get really airy and bubbly. <laughs> Thank you, Zella. I appreciate that. She's telling them to subscribe. Yeah, for sure. Subscribe and then she she'll like the video. Show me out later yeah. and tell people to hit the thumbs up button. So it's, it's all right. <laughs> but yeah, definitely lactose free milk so far has been the top contender as far as Lots steaming it, it yeah. you know, everything involved with that side of it. Yeah, uh, latte art ability, I, I mean, it's gonna be a 10, 10 out of 10? Yeah, 10 like, okay, 10 out of 10. I mean, it did come out really Not good. Not to toot my own horn. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty perfect. Uh, taste. Pretty I, dang good. I'm, I actually am not a big fan of normal milk, so like, for me personally, it's like a seven. I, I don't know what it is, but like, milk has like a funny aftertaste in my mouth. Right. Uh, so I actually think I prefer oat milk over normal milk or whatever but that's just me i'm the so. same way i really just like the flavor that oat milk has yeah in comparison to regular milk i also yeah. don't like regular milk i don't yeah. think it tastes good it doesn't taste good at least in my opinion yeah. so i would give it overall for me for this one i would give that yeah, you're the barista i'd give that a nine that's a good a nine does perfect milk exist can we give it a ten I mean, we could. I feel we like do whatever we want. I feel like because we both don't like the flavor <laughs> that we shouldn't give it that high of no. a score. So I would say it tastes good. Yeah, it does. But it's just not preference. So I'll, I feel like that's probably fair. Nine, nine to ten. We'll give it a nine overall. Yeah, maybe if they can make it taste more like. <laughs> can you, can they make the cows make this taste better? Dang it! <laughs> to heck with the cows. All right, so here's the coconut milk. This did not latte art very This well. did not. It kind of it's just funny collapsed in on itself. I always, I always had luck with it, but I guess I'm not good at latte oh. art, as you know. This is weird. But yeah, it's, give, it a, give it a try. Give it a whirl. It's got a decent head of foam on it. I mean, not as much as I would like. It has a lot of interesting variation in just the cup, but it smells good. Please excuse our cup. Mm hmm. <laughs> We ran out of regular Yeah, cups. I'm sorry, these cups, oh. Yeah, yeah. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Does not mesh well with the espresso. It tastes funky. Yeah, it's, it's like, not bitter. it's, it's, it's almost sour. Yeah. That's weird. And it's like, just, I just opened that can. I did so say I think I burned it though. Yeah, you did say that. I might have steamed it a little too much. Yeah, But maybe. that still wouldn't make it sour though. Yeah, that's think. weird. Actually, it might. It very well might. I don't know. I don't like this. Because at that point, you're like... I always like that, though. That's so funny. I feel like I want to... It like... smells good. It smells great. It doesn't taste like it smells, though. It could have been the shot. Like I said, we weren't me like measuring right. the grams out very much. So I don't want to give it like too much of a hit, but... It's weird. I don't know, but the espresso is definitely chocolatey. Mm -hmm. it is. It's very good. Um... I don't know. I don't like that. I like mm. at all. I used to like recommend it, but I don't like it. <laughs> when I put them all side by mm. side, I'm gonna say that's like a might be worse than almond milk. Not out of flavor. Wait, I think the flavor might be better. The flavor is better, but the workability is just not. Yeah, it's there. terrible. Back to you, Bob. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's probably like a four. Uh, I'll give it a. What do we give this? That was. A four. Okay, we gave this a four. I would say that's I'll probably. Give that a five. This was more latte art ability. I'll honestly give that a four too. I think. I was gonna overall. say I think they get get about because the they same kind score. of balance each other out with. Yeah. Yeah. One this being one better like... for latte art, but one being better flavor wise. So yeah. Kinda... Both fours. I think. Okay. So this one got. We gave this what an eight or a nine? Nine. Eight. eight. We gave it an eight. We okay. sure did. <laughs> All right, so we gave this an eight. We gave that a nine. I think that's probably fair. Yeah. So it looks like lactose-free milk wins the lactose-free milk throwdown. Uh, is that what I predicted? I can't remember. I don't know. What sure you is said. what I predicted. Absolutely. But I think Marissa honestly, knows best. Yeah, you do know best. I think I would still prefer oat milk myself, just because I yep. like the flavor of it a lot. Um, Sometimes that's worth the texture of the milk. Just yeah. Not having that good flavor. 
Yeah, it's worth the loss of beauty, I guess. It's true. Beauty is not everything. Yeah. It's... Yeah, for sure. All right, well, thanks for uh, taking a look at this. I'm, I hope you learned something. I, I know that I did after looking at these sure. side by side. So again, winner and runner up winner. Hope you guys liked the video. Oh, crap. <laughs> crap. <laughs> <Poop>. <laughs> Go ahead, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and thanks for watching.